Hey again, my name is Shafir Yunus, and in this video, we are going to do an advanced feature of data binding, which is binding adapters. Okay, so if you search on binding adapters from the documentation of Android, you will see that binding adapters are responsible for making the appropriate framework call to set value. What does that mean? Is simply you will create basic and custom functions to set the values on the views. Okay, so let's say for example, this function, you can create a function that set padding left with this call of uh, XML. Okay, so you can do custom logic with this view and its input. Okay, so let's try to make our first example. Let's go to Android Studio. Here is layout. Here is the project. Let's go to the layout. We have a person name and a person age. Okay, so we'll try to add an image. Okay, so let's try to add an image view here. It would be okay let's add an id to be person image for example let's make some constraints something like that it will be like that great let's add an image to show it and it will be with the tools okay so it is just placeholder great now we want to set this image well you can't set it directly using data binding like that. You have to create custom binding adapter. Okay, so first let's add to this person. Let's add an image. Okay, we will add it as an int. We'll be doing it using it using drawable resource. You can even add an annotation like that. Drawable resource. Let's check it. Great. Now here you will have to define. You will have to define you have to use the person okay but you can't use it directly like that you can go crc and add sign and person dot image it won't work okay if you try to launch it it won't work well we have problem first we have to solve that one we have to add trouble like that run it let's see as you can see it won't work okay so what to do Great. Now we will create another file. Let's call it bindings. It will be of type object. Okay, it's not class, so it will be singleton. Nice. Now we want to add this annotation, which is binding adapter. Binding adapter. Okay, we can create any property here. Let's call it person image, like that. Now we will add the keyword fun for function. And you can name it whatever you want. Set person image. Here you will receive two things. Okay. The first one is always a view. Okay. A view. You can create it as a view like that. Or if you know the type, you can even use type directly. Image view. And the second one, we will pass the person object. Okay. Now you have the image view and you have the person. You know what comes next. We will do view dot set image resource from the person image okay that's simple now to use this person image simply go to the layout go to the layout here as we shown this won't work write person image okay and choose your person let me add the brackets person okay now i'm passing all the person okay i could pass just the image now it won't work directly we will have to add the annotation for gvm static to make this function static for the compiler we'll run the app and hopefully it is working as you can see we could do the other thing which is to pass just the image we could do person dot image that's it as you can see it's an error, compilation error it didn't find it didn't find a binding adapter with uh, an int so we will change it from here to int and this to image and this person let's get rid of it now it will work as expected hopefully great it is working as expected so you can use this person image whatever you want whenever you have a person image okay well you can't you, you can't use it here person image okay you can't use it let me check person dot image 
and if you try to run it you will have an error great cannot find a setter for a text view okay if you add a view here you could add a view to make it general like that but you will have to do the type casting and everything you have to check if the if you if the view passed is an image view or not so basically this way we are safe and just use this function appropriately okay you can do many logic with this function you can use it to set different colors based on different values so that's it for this lesson i hope you learned how to use binding adapters you can use it whatever you want in whatever manner you want okay thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the video and let's see you in another video thank you